Teacher Ned, and welcome back to Statistics and Probability class. Various terms are synonymous to area under the normal curve. Sometimes, this is termed as probability or proportion or percentage or percentile. In this lesson, we will compute them using the normal curve and the z-table. Given that A and B are z-score values, probability of z is greater than A but less than B refers to the probability that the z-score is between A and B. Probability of z is greater than A refers to the probability that the z-score is greater than A. Probability of z is less than A refers to the probability that the z-score is less than A. You'll better understand this in the following example. Example 1. What is the probability that the z-score falls between z equals 1.37 and z equals 2.05? This probability may be expressed in terms of this notation. P or probability that z is between 1.37 and 2.05. Recall that from the previous lesson, we've solved for this already by using the normal curve by locating it under the, the normal curve and by using the z table. We've known that that area, the shaded region, is equal to 0 0.0651. And of course, that is the value of the probability. So the probability that the z-score falls between the z values 1.37 and 2.05 is only 0 0.0651. That is far from the certainty of the event or um, the sureness that the event will, will happen, which is 1.0, 1.0 because the total area of this is 1 or 1.0. So the probability is only 0 0.0651. Example 2. Find the proportion of the area above z equals 0 0.89. Again, in terms of notation, that is P or probability that Z is greater than 0 0.89. In the previous lesson also, we've solved for this area already. Uh, area between 0 and 0 0.89. We've seen that the area of that shaded region above 0 0.89 is 0 0.1867. So in example 1, while... Uh, we, we were asked to solve for the probability, which is also equal to the area of the shaded region. Here in example 2, proportion means the same thing. The area under the normal curve, as well as uh, it also means the probability, and the proportion tells us the same thing or mean the same thing. So the value of this annotation uh, is also 0 0.1867. So, the proportion of the area above Z equals 0 0.89 is 0 0.1867. Example 3. What is the proportion of the area below Z is equal to negative 1.42? In notation, that is P or probability that Z is less than negative 1.42. From the previous lesson, we've known that the area less than negative 1.42 or below negative 1.42 is 0 0.0778. We will not uh, explain this anymore because we have tackled this and we've detailed the explanation in the previous lesson. So since the area under the normal curve uh, is also the same as the proportion or the probability, then the answer to this example or the value of this notation is also 0 0.07. 78. So the proportion of the area below Z equals negative 1.42 is this value. Example 4. To qualify for university scholarship, an applicant must belong to the top 3% in, in an entrance test. If the test has a mean of 92 and a standard deviation of 7, find the lowest possible score to qualify for the scholarship. Assume that the scores are normally distributed. First, we have to consider that 
top 3% means the 97th percentile. And in symbols, that is P sub 97. Now, 97% is equal to 0 0.97 in decimals, or if we add some decimal places, it is also 0 0.9700 up to 4 decimal places. Now, take note that this number, 0 0.9700, refers pertains to the area under the normal curve. We use the normal curve because um, we were asked to assume that the scores are normally distributed. So under the normal curve, this is an area, 0 0.9700. So this is not a z-score. We need to solve for its equivalent z-score. If this is the area, what will be or what is that z-score? In order for us to do that, we need to consider that this area 0 0.9700 is also the same as half of the half of the area under the normal curve which is 0 0.5 or 0 0.5000 plus 0 0.4700 next from the z table you are going to locate 0 0.4700 this, again, this is not a z-score, so you'll not look um, for it in the, in the first column and in the first row because this is not a z-score. You'll, you'll look for it um, in the cells, among the cells, the many cells. Uh, if you try to look or to search for 0 0.4700 in the cells, uh, what you will find is 0 0.4699. Their difference is only 0 0.0001. So that pertains to this area as well. And the Z score equivalent to 0 0.4699 area is Z is equal to 1.88. Now that we know the value of Z already, then we may use this formula for us to solve for the value of X, which is the lowest possible score. Given that z is 1.88, and this is the mean, and the denominator is the standard deviation that is given also in the problem, which is 7. So by substitution, we'll arrive at this equation. z is 1.88, mean is 92, and standard deviation is 7. By using some properties of equality, MPE and APE, we multiply both sides by 7, so that this will be eliminated, this denominator 7, uh, the denominator 7 times numerator 7, so that's equal to 1, and on this side, 1.88 times 7. After that, we add positive 92 to both sides for us because that is the additive inverse of negative 92. So this will become 0, hmm. um, the other next to x will be 0, and you'll be able to find the value of x. Here, we also have plus 92. By performing those two, uh, prop, uh, how do you call that, uh, the operations, by performing those two operations, we'll get the value of x. x is equal to 105.16. That is the lowest possible score for you to qualify the scholarship. Strategically planning is very important, and that is the essence of this lesson to you, dear learners. Until next time.